The chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Abdullahi Adamu, says the list of principal officers for the 10th National Assembly announced yesterday, Tuesday, July the 4th of 2023 by pres the Senate President, Godfrey Lakpabio, and the House of Representatives Speaker, Tajuddin Abbas, is not from the party's secretariat. Adamu stated this on Tuesday at a meeting with the Progressive Governors Forum led by Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State. It will be recalled that hours earlier, the Senate President and Speaker had, after a closed-door meeting with members, came up with the names of other principal officers of the two chambers of the National Assembly by consensus, allegedly without the input from the party hierarchy or like what played out in their emergence before they went on recess. While the Senate President picked Okpayemi Bamidele, Dev Umahi and Ali Dume as, and also Lola Ashiru as Majority Leader, Deputy Majority Leader, Chief Whip, and Deputy Chief Whip in the Senate, respectively. Abbas named Julius Inwariwe and Kingsley Chinda as Majority Leader and Minority Leader, respectively, in the House of Representatives. The both the PDP, Labour Party, and New Nigerian People Party shared other minority position in the House of Representatives. Angered by this development, Senator Abdullahi Adamu led National Working Committee of the All Progressive Congress immediately disowned the majority leadership position announced by Pabio Adabas, saying the party had not officially communicated with both presiding officers. Addressing the governors, Adamu said it's of the party's responsibility to communicate such decision to the assembly leadership, saying the NWC under his watch is not now about to break away from tradition. The APC National Chairman stand is beginning to generate a lot of um, questions concerning the list of the principal office holders with some totally in support of the APC National Chairman view why others feel the issue of the legislature should be totally the business of both chambers. But the big question or the big story today is are we already seeing a crack between the new leadership of the 10th National Assembly and the NWC of the APC? And what will such a crack lead to in a party that is poised to have a total grip on the issue that concerns governance in the country? Well, a look at this and more as it concerns the emergence of principal officers of the 10th National Assembly is what this edition of the big story is all about. And we're talking about this quiet tone concerning the choice of principal officers of the 10th National Assembly. And we're talking about that anxiety being generated over uh, the announcements of uh, principal officers of the 10th National Assembly. Well, you agree with me that it's quite um, in the news, especially at Mixed Around on all dailies today, and not only on all dailies, but also on all social media handles, as it concerns that, um, well, disbelief, and not only disbelief, but also the APC National Chairman saying that he was not carried along. But anyway, to join us to talk about this, we have our very own, and I'm talking about, uh, well, it could be an, an accountant itself, but also a social critic, and, uh, well, I wonder one day if you definitely join politics. But anyway, we're still looking at that. that that's already a game that I'm playing, but only that's uh, but I, mean, I, I, I need to work on another person, but the unknown did. Sorry, comrade F.L. Domo. Why oh, did you withdraw that one? <laughs> Good then? morning and welcome to the show, Comrade Effort. No, you have, to, you have to complete that first. Okay, thing. sorry, honor being Comrade Effort. No honor being Bishop. Bishop, Comrade Effort. No oh, yes. Sir. Good morning and welcome to it. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much this morning. Thank you, Nigerians. Well, definitely, you know, it's in the news. And uh, well, it's also making a round on almost all media outlets as it concerns, well, that disbelief coming from uh, the chairman, national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Abdullah here, Senator Abdullah Yadamu. But I, but I want us to start mm. by going straight uh, to his own statement. And I would rather pick it word from word. And uh, let's start. Now, during that meeting yesterday he had with governors under the uh, APC, uh, led by Imo State Governor Hopu Zodima, Abdullahi said, I am, just being, I am just hearing the rumor now from an online media that there have been some announcements in the Senate and House of Representatives. The national headquarters of the party or the NWC has not been given any such information or communicated about the choice of the remaining officers and until we formally resolve and communicate to them in writing, which is the normal practice as it has been done before we came here. It is not um, 
over our intention to break that tradition. Now, in all fairness and honestly, before now, there seems to be a norm of the prince uh, yes. of yes, the national leadership <laughs> of uh, of the All Progressive Congress also are uh, being carried along uh, before such names are being mentioned. Yeah. Uh, they seem not to hear it on <laughs> online papers or newspapers before they also would know. But uh, well, that seems not to be the before case. they call it start blows. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that seems not to be the case. So that we do know, and uh, honestly, it needed to go through that route or route, if you make me say it. But we also also do understand that the sole responsibility of um, the National Assembly, especially as the concerned members of, uh, uh, of uh, principal officers of the House, is just the sole responsibility of the House. And everybody will say also, um, Akpabio and Abbas did what normally they would have done in bringing principal office holders, especially as it's not just only the APC, but other political parties that are included among the principal officers. So, but, but my own first question is, what, what's your reaction? Knowing these two major highlights I highlighted, that's normally it ought to be the norm in uh, informing the National Working Committee and the leader, leadership of the All Progressive Congress, and also knowing that, yes, they did no wrong in announcing principal <laughs> officers. So but I want your view as it concerns what happened to, or transpired yesterday. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mike. Policies have procedures. If you are contesting for the primaries, mm. you are an aspirant. If you get the ticket, you become a candidate. Okay. And once you win the general elections, either at the local government level, state or federal, you become the leader of the people, irrespective of parties. Okay. Moving a step further, there is a difference between party constitution and the constitution that governs the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Most certainly. Yes. So if the chairman is arguing that they were not informed before they went to the press, Akpabio as at today is not operating the concern of APC. It's operating on the concern of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And before he, should, before he did that, he would have studied the constitution. Is it the prerogative of the party to actually dictate the affairs of the National Assembly? When you give somebody a go to release the rope to him, otherwise the, the, the both of them, both you, the giver, the go to... But, but, and but, the, but others will argue that he was elected under a platform of a party. Nobody's contesting and as that. as such, would naturally show allegiance to the party undermining his allegiance is, one... is to Nigeria. But don't you feel that normally should have been the norm going through the party? Because we could still remember that when he was also being announced as the Senate president before even the election itself, the leadership of the All Progressive Congress was in no. And they did a whole lot of... Um, consultation look, on account look, Mike, of that. So look, why now get it? And rather than go through the process you went through in being elected as a principal or as the head of the Senate president, now you're going through all that. Are you, are you trying to say that he, no, I'm just he, asking. he backstabbed the party? That. No, I'm no. not saying that's not my no, 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 but I'm just us, asking. Yes, let us get it clear from one angle. Saul was persecuting the children of the, of the they was persecuting the Jews, but he was used to, at the same time to rescue the Jews. If Akpapio gets to office through all this space and he now discover that, well, we cannot continue in this way forever, and I want to change the system, there is nothing wrong in what he has done. The, the principal officers, he, he, he chose to be in positions. The ones for the ruling party were given to the ruling party. The ones for the other opposition parties were also given to them. Is it, uh, is it that, what is actually the cause? Is it that they are saying that their own preferred candidate were not chosen by Akpapio? That must be the crux of the whole matter now. But this man is at the saddle of affairs right now. He's the one that is seeing what you and I are not seeing. It is what they tell us from there that we, we listen and we, we hear. Mm. If the man has seen that this is the way we have to go, mm. then there is something wrong with the man doing it. He has the right to brief these people. Situation may arise that will make you to take some certain decisions before you now communicate with people. If the urgency is there, but this one is not the case of urgency. The man is seated on that uh, throne, let me use the word throne for now, mm. and he's seeing more than you and I. Look, the immediate past president, the immediate past uh, yes president was he, he ruled as a president. Mohamed yes, Mohamed Wari. Where there was a skirmish between, <coughs> sorry, between Nigeria and Cameroon. Yes, he was the GOC then, Kaduna. Mm. He came back and told the uh, told Mr. President, then Mr. Shagari, Shagari that I gave Shagari. them, I gave them a red nose. Mm. He didn't wait for Mr. President to give that order because no, of. But, the, but that, that that's more like a, a military man attitude uh, to things. But I, because because why I'm asking this question with very reliable information yeah. reaching us. We do know that there was a phone call put between Abdullahi Adamu and Akpabi on Saturday. That is not and yet, he was not carried along. 
just only on Tuesday, names were announced. He, look, that proverb I said is a general proverb that is uh, everybody knows. You give me a goat, release the rope to me. Don't, don't withhold the rope. Otherwise, I'll be able to take the goat along with me. And if you want to follow me to the place I'm going with the goat, then let's go ahead. If there was a phone call, what was the reason of that phone call? If Akwabio did this feel that well, it is not necessary, Akwabio has a cabinet in his uh, Senate. Yes. And the money, he, didn't, he, he didn't do it alone. Mm -hmm. He has a cabinet. And they sat over this and they talked over it. They came out with, with a list of those people they prefer to, to, to appoint. Now tell me, if the chairman of the party had been carried along mm -hmm. and he brought names that mm -hmm. is not intended with their own, to, yeah, to what they feel, and they feel that they cannot use so those. Do you feel that's the issue? That is the issue. That's supremacy. what you believe. Power for, uh, struggle for supremacy. Okay, now, still talking about struggling for supremacy. Undermine this is now coming to be news that may, he was not carried along. Yes. L let's, let's talk that of something that was no news. Now, it was no news that there were issues between top members of the All Progressive Congress and the national chairman of the party. Yes. There, it, it's no news. We, we've, we've seen that, that one has been there for a it long time. It has been there. And not just only him, but even also his deputy uh, vice chairman from the West. I'm talking about Omishere. They've always been in the news against members. And, and even what even came more to light to even make everybody understand, or what I, when it came to the climax of that very issue he had with critical stakeholders of the All Progressive Congress, is when the national vice chairman, Northwest, Sally Lukman, sued the party's national chairman, accusing him of abusing the party's constitution, and even dared him to expel him early last month we saw that in the papers that he was ready to be expelled yeah but he went ahead to sue now let's look at that do you see all of this happening as an extension of all of those issues that generated way before then that's what's now coming out to play out because we still it's also in the news that we do know that the present president is in total support of what Akpavio has done and more like giving at the national chairman, a bloody nose. Do, do, don't, don't you know that the president is the overall leader of the party? Mm. The only person that has 100% control over the Senate now mm. is Mr. President. Once Mr. President gives a nod, I don't think a party will have announced this list without uh, the president's knowledge. Okay. I don't think so. So it is right for the president to know, but not for the all progressive. But see, look, once a post, once chairman, government is formed, mm. it's a different scenario. Okay. The government now oversees every other things, including all the political parties. The political party is just a way of you getting to the presidency. Yes, I know. But once you get to the presidency, you become the leader of the of the party mm -hmm. in your own perspective uh, position. Yes. Now, Mr. President is the overall, followed by the Senate president. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the Senate president wants these positions. It is not a cry for him if the party did not contribute into that selection. But it will be unfair for him to go ahead and announce those uh, names without the input of the Mr. President. It is not, it is not just possible. So that's why we're not hearing anything from the presidency. Exactly. If they, are, if so they, are, if they the have presidency was carried along, but very strongly, other critical stakeholders of the national... When you say critical we stakeholders, we are talking of governance now. We are no longer talking of political, uh, uh, political, uh, party, uh, political okay. parties, uh, politics. Okay. We are not talking of the federal government issue. Akpavio is the Senate president of the whole country, of the country as a whole, yes. including PDP, Labour Party, NNPP, and all, every other uh, a party that is involved. Mm. So what they should do as a party is to have not blown this issue in the public. Mm. They will have used a kitchen cabinet or a roundtable uh, discussion. Why did this happen? Why did that happen? Then they, they iron this thing out. Because most cases, in the last administration, it was even seen that members of this very party mm. were the people fighting the party more than the opposition. Mm. They should not start it this time around. It is too early. This is an embryonic stage of uh, the, the government. So I should have expected the party chairman to call the, the, the senior president and or let me use the word, the leadership of the Senate and the House of Reps now, mm. into a meeting and brief them. Why are we doing this? We are supposed to work as a team. Actually, you cannot do anything at that level without the party's involvement. But now that he has done it, you don't need to blow it in the public because by the time you do it, you are watching your dirty in the day. Now, 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 talking about in the public, now let's let's consider this. Now, th th there's this perception in the public that what transpired yesterday was more like a payback, and payback in a mm. sense. I know I'm getting you amused. Now, some some will call this. Ah, it's more of a payback to Adamu because mm. we we still remember 
during the heat when Akpabio was looking to become the, the senior president. president. We saw Adamu come out on air to say he would revisit the issue of zoning that brought the emergence of Akpabio into being the senior president yes. and Tajuddin Abbas as uh, the speaker the of the House of Representatives. He said he's not even in favor with the zoning formula. I would rather have a revisit of it. So, do you see this as more like a payback of mm. Akpabio to Adamu for him not totally believing in that zoning that brought his emergence as uh, the senior if, president? Because, yeah. because what I'm still asking, we still, I will still emphasize that we do know that the call was put by Adamu Adulahi to Akpabi on Saturday. And he did not only call him on Saturday, he called uh, Tajuddin Abbas later in the evening on Saturday. All I'm a bit to understand what seems to be happening. And yet he was not carried along on Tuesday. Yes, if that is really insinuated. So is it a payback? You if, it, if that is really insinuated, nobody can divorce it from the fact. Mm. Because if, a, if an owl that represents uh, that represent, uh, witchcraft in African uh, context, mm. Christ behind your house yesterday and a child dies today. Do you need to start tracing where it came from? Mm. Where the calamity came from? The call was put across, yes. Akpabio knew quite well that this man was not fully in his support when he was running for the race. So for him to have also said, okay, but you never supported me. Why do you want to uh, make impute into my own uh, administration? <laughs> it, it, anything is possible. You know, at times we have people who hardly forgive and forget what happened to them, especially when they are climbing. But I should think to heal a national uh, wound, we shouldn't have considered all this in our, in our decision uh, making. making. But I also know quite well that there is no smoke without fire. Okay. They should, they will, they, this matter will be settled at the end of the day. Okay. Maybe we still have so many appointments that are still coming up that Mr. President uh, and the, the chairman of the party will still have a lot of input. All they need to do now is to mend fences so that they don't have a crack in the world because the way they've started now is already a so crack. So if, if there is a crack, who is most likely to fall? If there is a crack, yeah, I'm, I'm very sure. The, the party chairman is likely to fall because I don't think the president wants to lose the senior president because of the party uh, chairman. But I don't think it will degenerate into that level. But definitely, when the three, when the three layers mm -hmm. are working differently, it slows down the movement, the, the, the organs of the government, it retards uh, progress and uh, development. Oh, party, yeah. So that is what they should try to avoid uh, right now. If the president, uh, if the, 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 the chairman cannot see the senior president, and because of uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the soft spot the president has for the senior president, mm -hmm. and it would, in a way, try to face off one of these uh, parties. And by that, uh, by that they do that, then bad blood start flowing within the, the party. Then it does not speak well for anyone at all. Then it becomes the two elephants that are fighting that the grass will suffer. But this is, we don't even think there is grass anywhere anymore because the, the, there is no even manure for them to feed on. But anyway, before we think about that, I, I will plead with you, we need to go on a break. And uh, well, seeing how we can really manure our own stand when it comes to, um, well, anyway, commercial. So let, let's go on a break, a commercial break. But when we come back, we'll continue our discussion as we look at um, issues or this quiet tone uh, arising on account of our principal officers that were announced yesterday by no other but the Senate President himself, uh, Gosul Akpabio, and uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, all in the bid uh, for them to get um, their work going. But uh, well, it looks as if uh, the leadership of uh, that very party, the ruling party, uh, seem to be opposed to the idea of not being carried along and all of the issues being generated. But we'll not be looking at only that, but looking at also other issues that also arose on account of uh, these new names being mentioned as principal officers of the 10th National Assembly. Let's go on a break.